From a young age, one advice we always get is find your own voice. But what does this really mean and how do you actually find it? Hey, what's up? I'm Chris Elinas, I'm a graphic designer and I love solving problems through design. If you want to see more about my work, you can do it on my website and social media pages down in the description. This is my first vlog ever and to be honest, I never thought that I will start a vlog. I'm kind of an introvert and don't feel so confident in front of the camera. I used to work behind the camera on filming and editing, but at the same time, I really like to challenge myself if I have the opportunity. I think that I have picked a good spot here to film, but I have the sunlight blinding me and I'm not sure if I'm in focus or whatever. So yeah, filming myself, it's not one of my strong skills. Actually, it's exactly the opposite, but I believe that you will understand why I decided to start this. I'm not here because I made it. I'm here to share the journey of trying to make it. I have realized that in order to achieve my goals, I need to first find my purpose, my path, my voice. And in order to do that, I want to share my process, share how I solved problems and struggle I had in the past as a designer, but also share the struggles I'm facing right now. Maybe that could help you if you are a designer, a creative, a freelancer that you're starting right now, but it will also help me because I want to grow through the process of sharing my process. I want to talk about business, design, clients, all the things that I believe that could help me when I was starting, but also all the things that I'm searching the answer right now. The second realization that I had was that if you have a story that has the potential to inspire or help at least one person in the world, then you have to share it. I'm not here to tell you what to think or what to do. I'm here to narrate my story through my perspective. I don't want to be seen as the expert that has all the answers or the teacher and student relationship. I want you to be my companion and travel with me as I go along my journey. I'm figuring things out. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, but in those logs, you will find what I have figured out so far. If it helps you, keep watching and we'll grow together. You can't find your voice if you don't use it. And this is actually what I'm trying to do here. My whole life, I was using my voice through drawings, illustrations, and design. But now I decided to start using it in a more literal way, if you will. And I understand how hard it is, especially if you're an introvert, just like me. Because for the most part of us, we need to search deep inside ourselves. And if you're an introvert, I would like to hear more about how you're dealing with it. So let me know in the comments below. I would like to learn more about you. When I'm saying using your voice, I'm not only suggesting it literally, there are countless ways to express yourself. Start using your voice in a way that you believe that suits you the best. It doesn't matter if it's video or Instagram or posters or illustration, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you should start working on it, share it with the world and continue working on it and I believe that it will come to you naturally. Perceive it as if you were working on a logo project. At the beginning you have that great idea in your mind, how the logo will be and how it will work and all those kind of stuff. But the moment you bring that logo on paper or you see it on your screen, it doesn't quite work and you start working and working on it, changing small details and experiment with it until it's perfect. What I'm trying to say is that 
you need to take the first step in order to find who you truly are. I'm a very close person and it's very difficult for me to express myself and my feelings even to friends and family sometimes but I believe that the vlog will help me even with my business train me to be more confident with clients, presentations and talks I'm also trying to experiment with different tools, techniques and fields of the designing business in order to find my focus and what I'm really passionate about I believe that there's no excuses. In the age that we live in, we all have the opportunity to have our say, to use our voices, but so many of us are wasting it. It's a challenge to get out of our comfort zone, but if you want people to know about what you do and the things you care about, you have to share. Find your voice, shout it from the rooftops and keep doing it until the people that are looking for you find you. And in the end it doesn't matter if filming myself makes me feel uncomfortable because if I continue doing things in my comfort zone I will never grow to something better. The next time you have that feeling that your inner voice wants to get out and scream, don't hold it down, this time just let it free and see where it leads you.